Hi everyone, so Gibson just released a new 2017 lineup of guitars. So in this video, hopefully we'll answer a few questions that you guys might be asking yourself at the moment. So what are the 2017 range all about in terms of features and spec? How do they compare to last year's 2016 models? And most retailers will be selling the 2016 models up until the end of the year. So which one do I buy? The old one or the new one? So Gibson have made a few changes across the line for 2017. They've introduced a new ultra modern weight relief, which is available on the standard and studio models. This apparently, according to Gibson, increases the sonic depth and comfort. They've also removed the plastic ring around the freeway toggle switch, which gives the 2017 line a more modern feel. So if you're a left-handed guitarist, then 2017 might just be your year as Gibson have released tons of left-handed models across the range. So hopefully you can find a finish you like because Gibson are only offering around half the finishes they did last year. So 2017 also looks to be the year of the accessory where Gibson are shipping most of their models in a hard shell case with leather strap, polishing cloth and multi-tool. So 2017 also sees the return of the HP or high performance range of guitars, which offer the guitarist a more modern experience when compared to the traditional or T models. HP guitars feature a G-Force auto tuning system, a zero fret nut for quick custom action adjustment. HP models feature higher grade tops when compared to the traditional line, a fast access heel making access to the higher frets much easier, and a soloist neck width for fast lead playing. 2017 also sees a few new appointments on the high performance range. New appointments include chrome hardware, pickup rings, truss rod cover, tone and volume knobs all covered in chrome. A dip switching system allows the player to customise their tone even further with over 100 wiring combinations. So let's check out Gibson's flagship model, the Les Paul Standard. So 2017 Standard T features a mahogany body, AAA flame maple top, an ultra modern weight relief body new to the 2017 range, an asymmetrical slim taper neck with burst bucker pro and rhythm pickups, two coil taps for single coil tones, phase reverse and pure bypass. HP upgrades are also available on the standards. Available in Blueberry Burst, Bourbon Burst, Heritage Cherry Sunburst and Honey Burst. There's not a huge amount of difference in specs for 2016 and 17 standards. You might want to consider a 2017 spec if you're a left-handed guitarist, you fancy the new weight relief or one of the new colours in the range, although the colour choice is limited with only four finishes to choose from. You may have more chance finding a colour you prefer in the 2016 line with 11 finishes to choose from, but if you live in the UK, you can save some cash on the 2016s because they're around 10% cheaper for the standard tees and around 13% cheaper for the HPs. So if you're after the classic look and feel of a Gibson from the golden era, then check out the Gibson Les Paul Traditional. So the 2017 Traditional tee features a mahogany body with no weight relief. It's a double A grade flame maple top, a rounded neck profile, a nylon nut, a nickel plated bridge, Burst Bucker 1 and 2 pickups with orange drop tone caps. HP models are also available. There's three finishes available, a Heritage Cherry Sunburst, a Honey Burst and an Antique Burst. There's a fair amount of difference between the 2016 and 17 traditionals, definitely more so than standards. You might want to opt for a 2017 model if you prefer a non-weight relief body, the Burst Bucker pickups over last year's Classic 57s or one of the new colour options. But again, with twice the colour options on the 2016 models, you might find something you prefer in last year's range. You may also prefer the Classic 57s on the 2016s, but again, UK residents would save around 20% on a 2016 traditional T and around 15% on a HP version. So sitting somewhere between the standard and traditional models is a Gibson Les Paul Classic. So this offers a nice blend between traditional and modern specs. So the Classic T features a grade A plain maple top, a fast slim taper neck, a more traditional nylon nut. It's got Zebra Classic 57 pickups with orange drop tone caps. It's got a nickel bridge with Grover locking tuners. The finishes include a green burst, a heritage cherry sunburst and a gold top. HP models are also available. So Gibson only released the Classic, at least in the UK, as a limited run only model in 2016. These were shipped with Zebra Classic 57 pickups, a plain top, slim taper neck and traditional weight relief. So 2017 sees a very similar guitar but with a few extra additions such as the nylon nut, the orange drop tone caps and the accessory bundle. Again UK residents expect to see around a 20% price increase on the 2017 models. 
So if you're after the classic tone and feel of Les Paul, but you don't want to fork out the big bucks for binding and flame tops, then check out the Gibson Les Paul Studio. So 2017 studios feature the new ultra modern weight relief body, fast slim tape and neck width. They've got a grade A top. They've got the 490R, 498T humbucker pickups with split coils. Finishes include an ebony, wine red and black cherry burst. HP models are also available. So there's a fair amount of difference between the 2016 and the 17 studios. You might want to opt for the 2017 model if you fancy an upgraded top, prefer a slim tape and neck, or want to give the new ultra modern weight relief a go or fancy one of the new finishes in the range. So 2016 sees far more choice in terms of finishes. They have a thicker neck and a modern weight relief. UK residents, again, you can save some cash opting for a 2016 studio. You'll save around 30% on a Studio T and around 15% on a HP. So if you're after an affordable Les Paul with a nice vintage vibe, then check out the Gibson Les Paul Tributes. So the 2017 Tributes feature a grade A plain maple top, a nine hold weight relief body, a fast slim tape and neck, 490 R&T humbuckers, a satin finish gives a nice vintage feel. HP versions are also available. The finishes include a satin gold and honey burst. So the 2017 Tribute range has been merged into one Tribute line, whereas last year Gibson offered both the 50s and 60s Tributes. Merging the two lines together has definitely reduced the features available. P90s and the rounded 50s style necks from last year are no longer seen in the 2017 range. On the other hand, the 2017 finishes look really nice. Again, UK residents expect to see around a 15 to 20% price increase on the 2017 models. So I hope this video cleared up the differences between the 2016 and 17 Les Paul models. And just for the record, I picked up a Gibson 2016 traditional T a few months ago. I've got a couple of videos out on my channel at the moment. I've got a sound demo and also an unboxing video. So I've left a couple of links down in the description box if you want to check them out. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check back for more gear reviews and demos. Anyway, I'm Simon, this is The Blue Shed, and I'll see you later.